A packed room filled the Hartwood Senior Living Center in Crosby last night as the public weighed in on the Cuyuna Regional Medical converting to a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Concerns were brought up about the governing board that would change to a nine-member board which would oversee the medical center's operations. The board would consist of two members of the district board, two physicians, the center's CEO, and four community members picked to serve by the current board. Another concern was about the care center and its future. Everyone who wanted to speak was able to voice their opinions and concerns about the potential conversion. I think that it's important that the community know for long-term long stability, it is important to me that we do convert to 501c3. You can look at the Aiken Hospital as a good example as to why to do that. The conversion is, did the public, did the board of directors ever consider how the public feels about it? And why don't you ask us about it? Why don't you put it to public vote, not to the board of directors vote, because our board of directors is not listening to the constituents. But as an employee, I can honestly say that once they converted, I got the advantages of it. They became more solvent. They were able to make moves quickly. My retirement got better. My benefits got better. My pay got better. And as an employee, I felt uh, assured that I would have a job. Of the, of the 143 hospitals in the state, 26 remain publicly owned. The board plans to meet in a closed session to digest comments made at the public meeting and follow up with a, a board vote, hopefully in May. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.